Well, welcome back. A medication used to manage type 2 diabetes is now used off-label as a weight loss drug. It's called Ozempic or Wagovi. You've probably been seeing about it more often, hearing about it certainly on social media. But there's a lot of questions around the safety of this drug and also some of the side effects. So we're joined this afternoon by Dr. John Mendelson. He's a facial plastic surgeon here in town and the medical director of Advanced Cosmetic Surgery and Laser Center. Yeah, Dr. Mendelson, thanks so much for joining us Thank here you. today. Now, can you explain <laughs> what exactly Ozempic is and if people have not heard of it? Yeah, so Ozempic is the brand name for a medication called semi-glutide. It's used for two main purposes. One is for patients with type 2 diabetes, and the other is for weight loss. Um, it works by basically promoting insulin, which mm -hmm. allows our blood sugars to be monitored, and it also works to cause, I would say, patients to become satiated, so they eat less. And it's mm -hmm. been very effective for both of those. Talk to us though, because we actually, we had a segment on this about a week or so ago where we were warning people there's been a lot of concern out there. It seems like the hot new diet trend for people. Talk about some of the side effects. Well, you know, most of the side effects that you're talking about are gonna be GI related, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. <clears throat> you might see that in many medications. Um, I would say that they're mild overall. We use it a lot. I have family members on the medication. I think it's an extremely safe medication. There is a profile that they're, they're uncertain about with research with a type of cancer that it could cause, but um, it's really preliminary data. Research does not strongly suggest that at all. You have family members who use it for weight loss? Absolutely. And have for a, a while? Uh, yes, uh, I think you know I think you know one of my family members. Uh, my sister actually, we started oh, on yeah. it. She had uh, breast cancer, she gained some weight, um, and uh, she's lost over 30 pounds in the last several months. It's usually about uh, a pound and a half per week. Wow. Okay. And of course this is something someone should consult their doctor before using. What do you tell your patients who decide to take Ozempic? Yeah, well I think it is important that a appropriate healthcare provider is the one that's prescribing this and for the right reason. And you know, one of the reasons why it may work well for weight loss um, is, you know, diabetics, type 2 diabetes, often weight loss is one of the recommended protocols. And so by losing weight, the di diabetes is probably better under control as well. You were talking about some of the physical side mm -hmm. effects, the nausea and that sort of thing. Talk about the other thing. And I know this is what a lot of, I think the, the, the thing you're probably seeing on social media, is it's called Ozempic Face, I believe is what they're calling it. So yeah. talk about that physical Yeah, side so effect. I wouldn't say that that's really a side effect of Ozempic. I think that's a side effect of weight loss. And you know, Sheree, We've had patients come in with hard work, good nutrition, diet, exercise, mm -hmm. lose 100, 120 pounds. They come to see us because they've lost volume in their face. So they're sagging, they're drooping, and they're, they're coming to us to help restore some of the cosmetic benefit. So it's really, it can be any time yeah. you have just a huge weight loss. That's, that's right. And it's, so if Ozempic face is a problem, it might be a nice way to lose weight actually. So uh, another trend that we're seeing on social media is, is it buccal or buccal fat removal? Is that also in line with Ozempic face and why people are doing this? We seem to see this buccal fat, buccal means cheek, and so there's a, there's a pocket of fat in our cheek. So, um, this is very trendy. From time to time, we'll see people come in asking for buccal fat uh, removal. The procedure is pretty straightforward. There's a little incision made in the cheek, that, and, and there's a fat pocket that, that is removed. The problem is, is that most people aren't great candidates for it. Our providers spend most of their days injecting fillers mm -hmm. because of volume loss. You know, as we age, that fat atrophies anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's not a great procedure for most people. Um, and it, the only reason why I think the two are associated is because you can look sort of gaunt or hollow after buccal fat removal. And that's one of those things, what do you tell patients that maybe want cosmetic procedures due to a trend that may go away in 10, 15 years? Yeah, well this trend with buccal fat, I absolutely would caution people on. Um, most trends I would caution people on, mm -hmm. but, uh, but you know, depending on what your goals are, what your anatomy is, and uh, there are procedures that can provide benefits. And I guess the, the takeaway with the Ozempic that we were talking about is talk to your doctor no mm -hmm. matter what. Absolutely, you wanna make sure, yeah, especially Ozempic or, or any weight loss medication, but I do think Ozempic is a safe medication. It is popular and it works very effectively. Thank you so much, Dr. John Mendelson, joining us with Advanced Cosmetic Surgery and Laser Center. He really is a wealth of knowledge mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, as a plastic surgeon, always one of those people who's just kind of very safe and, and never pushy with people. So we appreciate you being here with us today. Well, thank you for having me. Awesome. All right, let's get a look at our forecast <laughs> with meteorologists.